Hello, this is Mark Higdon. I am a professor in the Fashion Business Management Department at FIT. This video is an introduction to Adobe Illustrator and will show you some of the basic tools in Illustrator. If you can go to the file that we've given you, FM108 t-shirt, and if you can double click on that file, it will open in Adobe Illustrator. So Illustrator was Adobe's uh, first software application they introduced in 1987. Uh, for fashion business, uh, Illustrator is used by many different companies uh, and um, very helpful in terms of creating clean, flat garment sketches that may be used in merchandising line plans, presentations, product development, uh, proposals, uh, garment tech packs, and so on. Lots of different end uses. Illustrator, the program, uh, uses anchor points, smooth lines, and curves to create shapes. And uh, the program is vector-based, uh, which is uh, using mathematical calculations. So. No matter how much you zoom in on the shape that you're working with, or if you enlarge it, it always maintains uh, a very clean, flat, linear line. Very helpful to us in terms of for digital tech packs um, and sending to factories where you're not there to help explain in terms of what is needed in that garment. Uh, the clean flat sketch should hopefully help explain what you're looking for. In comparison to Adobe Photoshop, uh, Photoshop is utilizing uh, pixels or these little mosaics and when you zoom in on a line you can actually see the line in terms of it being a little bit more jagged. So it's much more textural but this is used by many people that are creating textile patterns uh, anything that's a little bit more artistic uh, in the end use that it may be used for. The Illustrator uh, program uh, is very similar to many other uh, software programs that you may be familiar with. You have pull-down menus that give you a lot of options in terms of the tools and uh, location. We also have the uh, these toolboxes and um, other windows that may own uh, offer different tools that you may need to work with. The main toolbox uh, is this toolbox here and see that it has a double arrow here that will allow you to change the layout of it. If you uh, left click on the X it will actually make that go away. If you need to bring it back you can go to window at the top come down to toolbars. I had the advanced one that was open and I can reopen it. So um, many of the windows uh, are all listed here and so anytime you lose track of something you can always go back and open it there. The double arrow uh, that are clustered together will also expand panels and um, open up additional tools depending on what you're looking to work for. So that's another uh, way in which you can actually uh, find tools that you're looking for. You can move these windows around just by left clicking on the top darker uh, border and that will allow you to move it depending on where you are uh, in your workspace. There's also a magnifying tool that will allow you to zoom in and if you left click on that and then left click on your workspace it will actually zoom in on the sketch if you hold down the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC, you will zoom out. So this is helpful just in terms of getting closer if you're working on small detail uh, work. You have a scroll bar on the right hand side and on the bottom of the window that you can also move your space around. You, if you have a mouse, you're able to scroll or on a uh, finger pad on a laptop. And another tool that I find is very helpful if you hold down the space bar 
on your keypad, it actually turns your cursor into this hand, and you can left click and drag and move the hand um, around. The um, selection tool is the tool on the upper left hand corner and you'll notice that if you hover over it, it shows the name and it also shows the letter V in parentheses and that is the shortcut to get to that tool. So if you hit the V key on your keypad, V as in Victor, it actually takes you to that tool and it's now highlighted in dark. So the selection tool um, allows you to select shapes uh, as you're working on garments. And with the selection tool, you can move them around. You can change uh, the shape of it, depending on if you want to make it shorter or, or larger. Um, to undo a change that you might have made, a quick way to do that is Command-Z, which is the undo key or it is the control key on a PC with the Z key, and you can undo what you might have just, uh, the action that you just did. To deselect uh, a shape, or in this case, the sketch, with the selection tool, I can just left click on the background and it will deselect that particular shape. When you select on something, you'll notice that there's a box that formulates around it. Um, to conform the proportion so that you don't change the shape of it but make it smaller or larger, if you hold down the shift key when you grab one of these corners, you can actually left click and drag a corner and you can actually make it smaller or larger but you don't change the shape. If you would left click on the background and deselect your sketch, then come up to Window at the top and come down to Swatches. This will open up a default uh, color palette that's part of Adobe Illustrator. And with the Selection tool, if you select on your sketch, down on the bottom of the toolbar, you'll notice that there is a white box and a black frame here. The white box represents the fill color. So right now this t-shirt is being filled with white. Uh, the black line here represents the stroke color or the outline that was used to draw this sketch. To change the color of the ground of the t-shirt, you want to make sure that your white fill box is in front. If you left click on the stroke, you'll notice that brings that to the front. Left click on the white box, you bring that back to the front. If I come back to my swatch box, left click on another color, it actually changes the color of the t-shirt. If you left click on the background, you deselect what you were working on and it's no longer selected. You left click on the t-shirt again with the selection tool, left click on another color, you can change the color in the t-shirt. So this is just a couple of quick uh, early tools in terms of getting familiar with the program, a uh, way that you can actually change the color of a garment. If you wanted to add, say, a very simple square pocket to the t-shirt, there's a rectangle tool here, and the shortcut for that you see is the M key on your keypad, and that will highlight uh, the square. If I left click and drag the box directly on the t-shirt, it actually creates something that looks like a pocket on the t-shirt. If I come back up to the selection tool, the V key <clears throat> on your keypad, if I select on the background, nothing is selected. If I left click directly on the pocket, I can move that pocket around. If I grab one of the corner boxes and hold down the shift key 
on your keypad. I'm, I can make the pocket a little bit smaller. If I want to change the color of the pocket with the fill box in front, I can left click another color and I can change the color of the pocket. So this is just a very short, quick tutorial introduction to Adobe Illustrator um, and you know, the selection tool, uh, moving a shape around on the page, creating a, a square that could be utilized as a pocket. Thank you very much. This is Professor Mark Higdon.